To some degree, a lot of artists do, whether they know they're doing it or not. Um, there is an element of commentary in a lot of what we do. And some people, for some people it can be very deliberate, um, and for some other people it's sort of there, you know, regardless. Um, and then again, you do have the people who just paint, you know, flowers and in pots sitting on a table kind of thing. So there's a question that's asked up there on this particular slide, which is what makes art an effective form of social commentary or political criticism, okay? Because ideally, if you're making art for social change, it shouldn't be about somebody attacking the person who's saying that things aren't working. You should go about changing those things so that, in a sense, you make the criticism irrelevant. Um, the main concept, uh, or most ideas I got from the whole lecture thing, was the perception that comes out in every individual. It all depends with how you perceive it as an individual. You would take um, a different direction from the message, and I would take a different direction. I, I think you guys can figure out what this is about uh, without re me really having to um, say anything about it. This is, uh, this is actually a preview from, uh, for my next exhibition that will be out on the 17th of July. This particular artist is a major inspiration to, uh, to my work, when, uh, to my earlier work and to a lot, a lot of my ink work. Um, but very in your face, very different to uh, Diego Rivera though. Diego Rivera's was more of something you would stop and stare at and really have your eye drawn towards the middle of the... Uh, I found it really interesting the way he took uh, pictures of the of the gay sex workers and how he he managed to make it in such a pure form uh, making sure that it's black and white like I learned how um, how to make sure that you can create an unadulterated portrait of a person like you know without any uh, without imposing a certain perspective and I find that really interesting the way he can uh, um, the way he can filter out one's perspective to make an image so pure and which allows us to, um, to bring our own subjective interpretation to the picture.